and it is a good morning. It is August 29th. It's around almost 9 o'clock. Good morning. No working today. It's a vacation day. Just got done our three day regional convention of Jehovah's Witnesses, which my wife and I go to each year. So today's kind of a recover day. It's just a little tiring physically, it's all. And, oh, just, it's so nice out right now. I don't even think it's 70 degrees yet. The air feels amazing. I just wanted to go out and take a morning ride. It was, uh, it today coincidentally is the first day of school here in Northeast PA. And before I even got out of my community, I passed two bus stops. I guess this is the second batch of kids they pick up because the normal bus stop time is 7 in the morning. It's like, I don't know if this is like primary or kindergarten or what, but I passed a whole bunch of parents with their little, little dudes. And I was almost a little embarrassed rolling up <laughs> my loud bike. <laughs> I kind of coasted through it as much as I could. Kids, be smart and pay attention in school. So when you grow up, you can be a slacker like Dave and go out riding his Harley when normal adults are at work being productive members of society. Great message, right? Hey, it's a teaching moment, you know? It's a teaching moment. So anyway, I took my windshield off this morning. I always have it on. And I figured since it's a nice cool day, and there's no, not really any bugs out. I think I took it off one time earlier this year. And my jacket got caked with bugs, which I was really upset about. But, um, wow, what a difference, you know? The pressure of the air against my chest and, and everything, it's just, I forgot about it. You know, when I first got this bike, I didn't have a windshield for, I don't know, probably around a month, and that was just normal. So I guess I'm kind of spoiled, or maybe not, maybe maybe the spoiling part is not having a windshield because the, uh, the feeling of the air is just really awesome. It just um, makes you feel like you're out here even more, you know, even less uh, sheltered, um, in this case, by a windshield. So I just thought it'd be a nice change, and it is. Going down Route 209, um, the Delaware River is right on the other side of those trees. This is a really nice spot. The only downside of this road is they keep you to about 35, 45 miles an hour, which doesn't make much sense to me because it's just a wide open road with nothing on it, but whatever. So I'm just taking a cruise down to like Marshall's Creek, the Stroudsburg area loop around and come back a different way. So, um, that's, that's the main point of what I'm doing right now. I did an oil change on my bike on the weekend. I just hit 17,000 miles. And as I was putting everything, you know, back together, so to speak, just looking over my bike with a flashlight around the engine fins and everything, I saw what could be a potentially very bad thing and that is some black cakey oil residue on the front cylinder by the head gasket. Ugh, not good. I mean I had an oil leak on the back cylinder when I got the bike last year and that was the rocker boxes. I did that job, the, the back one myself, it was a little involved but for people who do engine work, it was nothing. I mean, you're just taking off the top rocker box. But doing a head gasket, whole nother animal. Um, I got my service manual out and started reading. Started wiping my eyes with, with tissues, man. Uh, for a pro, it's probably a three hour job. For me, it could be a six hour to eight hour job spanning multiple days just because it's me, 
you know, um, you have to take off so much. I mean, right off the bat, pull off the seat, take off the horn. Um, looks like the exhaust needs to be disconnected at that cylinder. So you got these two exhaust studs that are all rusted, probably haven't come off since the bike was manufactured nine years ago. There's the intake manifold, which is uh, pretty uh, involved, I think. Um, and honestly, taking all this stuff apart isn't the hard part. It's putting it all back together. You know, take the, the rocker box off. Um, unsure exactly about the lifters. Um, or rather, the, the lifting... What do you call them? The tubes. The push rods. That's, that's the term I'm looking for. Um, I think they have to come out. And, you know, when you take the head off, the bolts that hold the head on also hold the lower part of the cylinder on. So, I, you're supposed to take that whole thing off because there's a gasket down at the bottom. Now, mine isn't leaking down at the bottom, but the theory is that once you kind of loosen it and disturb it down there, um, you need to replace that gasket. So, to do that, you have to take cylinder off which means the piston comes out of the cylinder so to put it back together you need a piston ring compressor and probably three hands <clears throat> maybe four hands because when you put it back together you have to fit the cylinder over the piston with the tools on the piston you need to tap the cylinder with a mallet and carefully guide everything down and the engine would still be attached to the frame, so there's not a lot of room, and, ah, uh, you know, not what I want to do, not what I want to do. To pay to have it done, probably looking at four to five hundred bucks. And that's a lot of money, you know. The materials are probably around a hundred dollars, the gaskets and stuff. So, you know, it's just not a pleasant prospect either way. So I'm not sure about that. I cleaned everything off with brake cleaner, dried it, and taking this ride this morning, I didn't see any wet oil. So if it is leaking actively, it may be a very, very subtle leak. And if that's it, you know, if it's something that I just need to spray off every six months or something, I will have no problem just kicking that can down the road, you know, six months, a year, two years, whatever. I can live with that. But if it is like, you know, a few weeks from now there's oil all over the fins again, then it's got to be something that gets taken care of this winter for sure. So that was a little, a little negative in my little bike world. Other than that, no complaints, I'm not worrying about it right now. So I'm just going to enjoy this ride. Of course, I'm behind a camper, which is slowing up everything. Typical. Anyway, that's all I got. Before you know it, it'll be cold in the mornings and I won't be able to take a day off like this and ride, but that's still months away too, so I'm enjoying it. Hope everybody's doing well. See you next time. That's just really cool. I see this line of power all over where I ride. It goes really far. I don't know where it originates and how far it goes, but... I see it like in several different counties. It's very cool.